This is a tip about working with Dynamesh with group sound. So if I go to my polyframe, you see that I have a subtool with different poly groups. And when you go to my uh, geometry tray, then you see I have Dynamesh on and groups on. So if I read Dynamesh, then my groups get preserved and my parts get preserved. What I wanted to show is if you smooth these parts, then you see that you get this ugly transition. And a way around this is with working with brushes like the H polish brush. So if you go to B H, then you have the H polish brush. And when you draw on it and I'm holding Alt to draw out, then you see that the transitions nicely disappear. So when you use smooth, you're actually going to smooth in and you're going to lose a lot of your sculpts. So instead of smoothing, and it is again like my tips in the previous smoothing video, so I could say this is a dynamic tip or a smoothing tip. Anyway, if you have something like this, so Alt H polish, but sometimes the geometry isn't close enough. So I'm going to undo. And what you can do in that instance is, for instance, inflate this a bit so that the mesh interpenetrates. And then use the H polish brush. And alternating with Alt to pull out and without Alt to push in. We dynamesh and you get a nice transition even though you are working with several mesh parts and dynameshing with groups on so smoothing kind of gets you an ugly crease if you will if you will but working with a brush like H polish Alternating with Alt to push out, without Alt to smooth out. You can have a good sculpt without those nasty transitions that are created by the smooth brush. I believe the clay brush is also able to fill in the gaps nicely yep so if you use a brush like clay but clay sometimes reacts strange when you have these di uh, several different parts so control z so i mainly like to use the inflate brush to interpenetrate the meshes and then use the h polish brush to nicely create transitions and of course when you're smoothing out and not touching the inter penetration then that works out fine but as soon as you use smooth like that and over here at the butt it may be a good idea but when you go further I will use the H polish brush to further sculpt over there I could use inflate a bit to have that more cross over and then again the H polish brush to build up and to subtract so H polish and I'm pushing Alt right now. And 
as long as you don't go over the interpenetration, then it's okay to use the smooth brush. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Just wanted to show you that when you're working with different polygroups, with Dynamesh and groups on, in order to get rid of those nasty seams, the edge polish brush is ideal. In combination with the inflate brush to get rid of those nasty seams.